Welcome to a new vlog. If you watched the previous mailbag video, I showed getting this CH341 programmer tool for EEPROMs and flash chips and my viewers were quick to point out that there's actually a design problem regarding the voltage levels this puts out. So it appears there's a 3.3 volt regulator on board for providing power to the EEPROM or a flash chip connected via the ZIF socket, but the CH341 itself is running at 5 volts, which means it will output 5 volt signals on the data lines. Now someone has reverse engineered this little board and put together a schematic which clearly shows pin 28, which is VCC for the chip, connected to 5 volts. But I want to make sure nothing has changed and this is still present. So I'm going to check with a multimeter to see if uh, uh, pin 28 is still connected to 5 volts. And there you go. Pin 28 is still connected to 5 volts USB. Now I'm just going to uh, power this uh, programmer from a power bank. And I'm doing that because I want to check the voltage levels it puts out on the data lines. So let's switch the multimeter to measure voltage. I'm going to take a ground from the connector. And as we can see, these pins are pulled up to 5 volts. So that means the programmer is putting out 5 volt signals on the data lines. So even if you put a chip in here and it's powered from 3.3 volts, it will get 5 volts uh, signals applied to its data lines. If you're looking for a place to order your professionally made PCBs, I highly recommend you check out PCBWay.com. They offer quick turnaround times for high quality boards and you get fancy options like matte green solder mask, INI gold plating or even flexible circuit boards together with affordable assembly services. Now connecting a 3.3 volt rated part for programming might result in damaging that part. You might have a chip that will tolerate that, but in general that's bad practice and so we're going to attempt to fix it by simply uh, cutting the 5 volts line going into the CH341 pin 28 and supplying it with 3.3 uh, volts from the onboard regulator instead. And the datasheet also specifies that V3 pin 9 should also be connected to VCC and 3.3 volts in this case. This should be an easy to do job even without magnification because the packages used on this board are pretty big but since I have a nice microscope that can also capture full HD images I'm going to do it under the microscope just so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to use some of this enameled copper wire for these mods. Uh, this stuff can be bought online, I'll put a link in the description of the video, this is a 0.4 millimeters thick uh, enameled copper wire but you can also salvage these from a bunch of uh, places like uh, old transformers and old CRT monitors uh, should have some of this stuff uh, inside so for example the one I have here is sal salvaged from an old CRT monitor so one way to do this mod is to lift pin 28 from the pad, add some insulation between the pin and the pad, maybe some captain tape and then solder a thin wire that will connect pin 28 to 3.3 volts. Messing with the track bringing in 5 volts to the chip is risky because we don't have a board view, we don't know if that track is connected to something else under the chip so it's best to leave that alone and just uh, lift the pin. So here is a short clip where I lift pin 28 by first adding in some fresh leaded solder and some flux. Then I clean the board with some IPA and add a thin piece of captain tape as insulation. Next some enameled copper wire was soldered to pin 28 and routed up to the middle pin of the regulator which is the 3.3 volts rail. Next I did the same connection for pin 9 but this time there is no need to lift the pin from the PCB because it's just connected to a bypass cap and to finish this off I would recommend adding some kind of glue to the wires to prevent them from breaking off. I use some of this transparent silicon adhesive and apart from the fact that it cures pretty slow this is awesome stuff. I highly recommend you get yourself a tube of this and you will find the link in the description below the video. It was a quick 5 minute job to do this mod, really easy and like I said there is no need for magnification. Now let's uh, check the voltages we get on the board. 
and I have already checked pin 28 and pin 9 they are now powered at 3.3 volts I'm not going to check them again because I just applied some glue and it hasn't cured yet but I'm mostly interested in the data lines to see if they are now pulled up to 3.3 volts and yes the mod is a success the data lines are now pulled up to 3.3 volts which means I can now safely connect 3.3 volts rated parts to this ZIF socket this is a success and a perfectly good example of the power of the YouTube community. Oftentimes I'm getting really useful feedback from my viewers and I appreciate that. Some people asked what software you can use with this tool and this is how the latest version of the software looks like. I'll put a link to this in the description below as well as links to places where you can buy the programmer itself. And of course I would recommend doing this mod for safely connecting this programmer to any 3.3 volts rated part. If you thought this video was useful maybe you can consider supporting the channel on Patreon with as little as $1 per month. If not maybe hit the like or dislike button to send me some feedback. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with a new video.